Hi, I'm Dr. Paul, and I wanted to introduce you to one of my patients. Her name is Esther. This is her husband, Carlos. And uh, for the people watching Esther, I was going to ask, uh, why did you first come into my office? Why? Yeah, why did you come in? What, what was going on? Oh, with my sickness? Mm -hmm. Well, I can't, there's a lot of things that I didn't remember. Mm -hmm. And he used to do everything. And uh, so I didn't even know I was at the hospital or I was at the doctor's office. So there was a there was a lot of uh, <clears throat> confusion and a state of like memory, you know, your memory was was not there, right? But it was the the liver was uh, uh, unhealthy. It was uh, liver cirrhosis. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cirrhosis of the liver. So why don't you, Carlos, mention um, for the people listening when you first what happened before you brought Esther in? Well, it started off that uh, she was diagnosed with. Uh, anemia, diabetic, and uh, also cirrhosis of the liver. And uh, we've been going, well, we were going through uh, a lot, a lot of problems, going to the doctors, treating her, giving her medication, which was really not doing anything. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, she was uh, ending up in the hospital once, twice a week, and uh, not really getting anywhere. Uh, and uh, just making it harder on me because uh, she would be in there in the hospital three days, come out, and then about a couple of days later that she would be in there again. So it was just getting a little frustrated. And, uh, and uh, we, she was real confused. She didn't know anything. She, uh, and it was harder on me. So uh, You mentioned that she had liver cirrhosis and that the ammonia levels got really high. Yes, that was a problem that uh, her ammonia level would go very high and she would lose uh, all uh, confused and she didn't know what she was doing. Uh, so it was, it was real hard for me. And uh, what happened is that on one of these occasions, she ended up in the hospital and uh, she came out. She was in there three days, she came out and the following week she ended up again in there, but she was uh, really out, uh, confused, and she didn't know anything, and I, I couldn't handle this. So what happened at the hospital is that the doctor came, checked her out, looked at her, and uh, yeah, she just, uh, I didn't care for what she had told me. And that was, uh, she tried to explain to me that uh, she had cirrhosis of the liver, and this is one disease that uh, it was uncurable. And that for me to start thinking about that uh, it would be a matter of time, a year or two, and that she was she would die. And this this really hurt me because uh, I didn't expect to hear that from her. So one of my sons, uh, Richard, he was coming here to see uh, Dr. Paul. And when I, I didn't want to tell him because he's real, he gets hurt real quick, real fast. And, uh, my sister-in-law is the one that broke the news to him. And uh, he's the one that told me that take her to Paul. Let him examine her. Let Paul see her and he can do something for her. And this is when uh, I decided, I said, well, I have nothing to lose. Uh, after the news that the doctor told me which was uncalled for, I believed, uh, as I said, I'm going to take her there. No matter what, what it is, I'll take her. So she had a lot of, she had a lot of problems when she came in. I remember oh, she very did. well. And just to kind of surmise, um, how is she doing now? <laughs> Believe it or not, thanks to God and you that she's back. Almost, well, I would say that she is uh, normal to me because mm -hmm. she's by my side. Uh, I, I couldn't explain it other than uh, when I brought her here to you, she was nothing compared to what she is right. now. Right. Now, to me, she's alive because uh, she's side by side with me. She does things with me, and it's unbelievable. Uh, I, I just thank you for uh, continuing to treat her. 
and knowing that uh, she is getting well because before it was like uh, somebody that's not even there. Yeah, it was, it was pretty and, difficult. Uh, there is a big change, not only because I say it, but because all my family, my relatives, and even friends that, that have seen her had noticed the difference because we go to church and people would see her the way she was. Mm -hmm. I would say that she would be like a zombie, not just walking because you had to go there. I had to walk her, take her here, take mm -hmm. her there. Mm -hmm. and, uh, That's her all changed. It's yeah. All changed. Now well, she died I, herself. I appreciate you guys for, for following you know, my advice, and I think it's wonderful. And the whole reason I do these uh, videos is for people to understand there are alternatives. There is, there is. hope out there. there it doesn't matter what the disease is. And uh, for those people watching, uh, if they had liver cirrhosis or if they had any other problem, what would you say to them? Come and see you. Try that, there right? is there is a yeah. cure for yes. that. Yeah. But with all this medicine that they give you, uh, it was uh, to me it seems that it was just setting her back instead of up forward, yeah. Get, yeah. getting her healed. It wasn't. It wasn't yeah. doing anything. Yeah. And one of the things that I didn't care for is when we had a. Uh, follow up with a doctor uh, we had a disagreement on there because uh, I was kind of like uh, they were uh, the doctor was blaming me that I wasn't giving her the right amount of mm -hmm. medication mm -hmm. which I was I was I, like I told them yeah. I am just following your instructions mm -hmm. but then again uh, I wasn't getting anywhere with it well, it shows a different path and, it, and it's good that you got her out of that situation yes. well I appreciate you guys taking the time to share that with people that um, are looking for answers. So I right. appreciate that. Thank you very much. And this is the place.